Narendra sang another song. I have made thee, O Lord, the pole star of my life. No more shall I lose my way on the world's trackless sea. Wherever I wander here, thy brilliance shines undimmed. With thy serene and gracious light, thou drivest all the tears out of my troubled soul. In my heart's inmost shrine, thy face forever beams. If, for a moment even, I cannot find it there, my soul is overwhelmed with woe. And when my witless mind strays from the thought of thee, the vision of thy face strikes me with deepest shame. A devotee said to Narendra, Will you sing that one? O oh, Mother, thou my inner guide, ever awake within my heart? Master, Oh no, why that song now? The proper thing now is to sing of divine bliss. A song like, O Mother Shyama, full of the waves of drunkenness divine. Narendra sang, O Mother Shyama, full of the waves of drunkenness divine, who knows how thou dost sport in the world? Thy fun and frolic and thy glances put to shame the god of love. O wielder of the sword, O thou of terrifying face, the earth itself is shaken under thy leaps and strides. O thou abode of the three gunas, O redeemer fearsome one, Thou who art the consort of Shiva, many the forms thou dost assume, fulfilling thy bhaktos' prayers. Thou dancest in the lotus of the heart, O Mother, eternal consort of Brahman. Full of divine ecstasy, Narendra sang again and again the lines Thou dancest in the lotus of the heart, O Mother, eternal consort of Brahman. Sri Ramakrishna was dancing, drunk with divine love, and he sang again and again. O Mother, Eternal Consort of Brahman. After dancing a long time, Sri Ramakrishna resumed his seat. He was very much pleased to see Narendra in a spiritual mood, singing with tears in his eyes. It was about nine o'clock in the evening. The devotees still sat around the master. Vaishnavacharun sang about Gauranga. The beautiful Gauranga, the youthful dancer, fair as molten gold. Next, he sang about Sri Krishna. Krishna had left his pastoral life in Brindabun and had become the king of Mothura. A gopi met him there and said, 
O Hori? How shall we know you now? In Mothura's royal splendor you have forgotten us. Now in your kingly robes you ride an elephant. Have you utterly forgotten how in Brindabon you tended cows? O Hori, have you forgotten how you would steal the butter from Braja's innocent gopi maids? About eleven o'clock, the devotees saluted the master and were departing one by one. Master, you may all go. Pointing to Norendro and the younger Norin, it will be enough if these two stay. To Girish, will you eat your supper at home? You may stay a few minutes if you want to. You want to smoke, but Baluram's servant is just like his master. Ask him for a smoke, he won't give it. All laugh, but don't go away without having your smoke. Girish had brought with him a bespectacled friend. The latter observed all these things and left the place. Sri Ramakrishna said to Girish, I say this to you and to everyone. Please do not force anybody to come here. Nothing happens except at the right time. Before leaving, a devotee saluted the master. He had a young boy with him. Sri Ramakrishna said to him affectionately, It is getting late and you have this boy with you. Narendra, the younger Narin, and a few other devotees stayed a while and then took their leave. <laughs>